All right, good morning. We are in front of a beautiful lake today. Oh, so nice out. The sun's just coming up and we have been busy the last couple days traveling across the country to get back to the Midwest. We're currently in the plains. The sun is just coming up. I'm having a little bit of my warm ginger tea with lemon this morning. I'm enjoying the view. Not too far off of the, the road over there, so you probably can hear some semis. <clears throat> yeah, the thing about when you travel across the country, you just kind of, we're not unpacking a whole lot. These pants, I've been wearing them the last couple days. Uh, you know, you kind of have like day pajama pants and then like night pajama pants, but the sad reality is they're the same pants and I've been wearing the same pants uh, for my last two days <laughs> while we are traveling across the plains and uh, getting back to the Midwest in this crazy time. There's not as many closures in this area, so that's why we chose to come up here. But we also chose to come up here for one more reason. It is our two year anniversary, our two year van life anniversary, and we came back to the exact same location that we camped at for our very first time when we left two years ago. Um, we we're a little bit early for two years, but this is as close as I could get. I tried to park in the same spot. Come here, Shiva. She's not quite as puppy-ish looking. The lake. Let's look back at some of that footage from two years ago. So I think I'm in the same spot. Maybe some of the trees on the edge here are different, but uh, this was a fun place. This was where it all started. Two years ago, just slightly less than two years ago, we left Missouri and this was our very first boondocking in our van experience. We had done tent camping and stuff like that and uh, other regular camping, but this was our first place to come to in our van and start our journey that we've been doing for the last two years. So, pretty exciting news for us. Today we're going to try to do a big, huge day. I'm going to take my time. Uh, minimizing where I'm going in. Actually, I haven't gone in anywhere. It's all been, you know, wearing your gloves at the gas pump and not and paying at the pump and that's it. And uh, um, we're almost back to Missouri. We have about 480 miles to go today. It's going to be a long day um, and I do expect to arrive after dark because I'm going to take my time. I rarely go the speed limit um, but nice day doesn't look like any bad weather or anything like that so it should be good for traveling and <laughs> oh we lost our bright blue skies 
It's all milky again. Darn, I really like those New Mexico skies. <laughs> so I'm going to top off my DEF thing. And uh, I realized that some other models have an actual indicator on the dash to say how low it is and how much you put in there. That would be really nice because I'm guessing all the time, like, should I buy the one gallon? Should I buy the two gallon? How much do I need? So I'm not carrying around this extra stuff. And so that would really, really change things for me. So you wouldn't have to guess all the time. And uh, because that, this stuff is the, a big part of the diesel exhaust thing. It's a pretty important thing. So to have an indicator if it's empty and full and how much you need to add, that's a must. I wish they would have done that on all the models, but unfortunately I'm just in the guest mode. <laughs>